this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your business account or an exchange account with Microsoft Outlook, and then you'll put your business email account. Here, in order to make sure that we are going to pick a, the proper account for Microsoft Exchange, I suggest that you click on Advanced Options and choose Let me set up my account manually. If you're already connected to the business network, you can simply press connect and it's going to use Active Directory and the sign in from there as well. All you'd have to put in is the email address from your company. Next, we click here on connect and then make sure that you choose Microsoft Exchange. Then put the password in there from your email account from your business. And the account is complete and you can click OK. And also I'd suggest unless you're setting up your mobile phone, I would suggest you uncheck the set up mobile phone option here. Then click OK and you'll be able to access your business email. Now one of the advantages if you're using Microsoft Exchange from a business environment is that um, the email and the calendar and the contacts, it's all transparent. It's connecting directly to the server and if you delete a message from Outlook it deletes it from the server as well so it keeps all your messages intact. The older technology out there was to use what's called POP3 type of connectivity where the messages were downloaded to your local computer and it was like the post office or POP3 actually stands for post office protocol version 3. It's basically the messages were downloaded to your computer, then you delete them and the copy would remain on the server. With Exchange, all of that is uh, linked in real time. You delete the message from Outlook, it deletes it from the server, you receive a new message, it shows up in your computer and also you can have it on your mobile phone and gadgets as well. The same thing with, is also the tight integration of the calendaring feature and the contacts feature and such that we'll cover shortly. Now that we are in Outlook, this is the business account. And let's assume that you wanted to add a personal account. You can also do that by going under File here and then choose Add an Account. And basically, you just have to follow the same process that we did follow earlier for adding a personal account. And check, rewind the video for that. So basically, in Microsoft Outlook, you can have more than one account, your business account and uh, any personal accounts that you want, and they will show up here on the left-hand side. So just for the sake of demonstration here, I'm going to do it very quickly by using my personal account. And of course, make sure that your personal accounts have two-factor authentication and all that type of stuff. In this case, I have disabled it temporarily just so that I can set this up. And notice now I have my two accounts here. This is my business account, and then this is my personal account as well. So that's how you get started with Microsoft Outlook to set up your accounts, whether it's a business account or whether it's a personal account. Next, we are going to go into some of the components of the user interface in Microsoft Outlook so that you can be familiar with it and effectively use it for personal use or in the workplace to enhance your resume.